Man, I have been butt-ass excited for this game. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, the Cowabunga Collection. I know a lot of you guys out there as well have been really looking forward to it, and it just released. We finally got these things in our hands, right? I mean, we got 13 classic retro games from NES, Super Nintendo, Genesis, Game Boy, the arcade versions, with a handful of them, you know, having online play, plus some other features as well. Yeah, I, I'm excited. I was looking forward to it. And leading up to the release, I've done plenty of videos talking about it, including, you know, being critical of the limited edition. I mean, the contents that it comes with, does that really justify the hefty price tag? Because, okay, the standard edition is $40. The limited edition, 150 bucks. Holy crap, right? And yeah, there's a lot of Turtles fans out there, a lot of people who collect, you know, things that have to do with the Turtles. And myself included, to a limited degree, I love the Ninja Turtles. If you grew up in the 80s and 90s, yeah, you probably love them as well. So I do collect a few things and maybe some of this stuff is gonna be nice. We gotta check the quality out. So yeah, with how well my videos did with the Turtles videos, the, you know, talking about Calabunga collection, even Shredder's Revenge, I figured, you know what? Let's go ahead and buy a copy of this thing, check it out, see what the quality is like. And I did buy a copy for my giveaway in the other video. Take a look at that for the announced winner there. But today what I wanted to do is open this up, check the contents out, see if it was really worth it, right? $150 right here, man. Okay, so let's go ahead and just dig right in, I guess, right? So yeah, let's uh, get this slip cover off. I, I'm, I'm excited for this one, man. I'm excited. I was really looking forward to it. From Konami, yeah. We'll probably most likely be live streaming this uh, the day after this video comes out. Uh, hopefully I can play online with some of you guys, but there we go. The slip cover and then boom, the main box, which mimics the front of the slip cover. Got some embossing type stuff, you know, some uh, gloss going on, little matte background, certain thing like this foot soldier's matte and then the turtles are glossy. That's that's pretty cool box, pretty cool box. I'm surprised this survived as it was shipped in a brown paper bag from Amazon. My God, but okay, let's go ahead and get this open. So there's that, it's not for, what does this say? Not for children 12 and under, back off little kids. This ain't for you. This is for the big boys, right? So there's our game, same as the uh, standard standard release. Yeah, I got a limited one and then a standard one. What the hell? Why not? I, I guess, I, I don't know, there's really no point. This one says not for resale though, so that's a variant for you uh, crazy collectors out there. Not for resale, what? <laughs> I don't know if there's any other differences on there, but yeah, one says not for resale and the other one's uh, got the, uh, UPC down there. Okay. All right. Let's go ahead and readjust so we get a better angle. Okay. Hopefully that's a better angle, but let's, let's dive right in. Let's get that off. Okay. Here's our, um, we'll get into that in a second. This was the, uh, cloth, uh, print thing. Yes. 24 by 16 cloth poster with Kevin Eastman illustration. So this is probably gonna be one of those, I've said before, this might be frame worthy, I don't know. We'll take a look at that. These are our little enamel pins. Okay. I mean, they're, they're pins. <laughs> I don't collect pins, but hey, some people do. They want some flair, right? And then what else do we got? Oh, yeah. the collectible card. What were these listed as? I was always making fun of these. Translucent plastic tournament fighter cards. They're not calling them trade. Oh, those, was that, what, was it this one or was it Shredder's Revenge where they kept calling them trading cards? I think it, I don't know, was it this one? Cause they kept calling it like some, some release kept calling something trading cards. I thought it was this, but the box says tournament fighter cards. Doesn't say trading cards. So I remember being like, who are you gonna trade with if they're the same set in all of them? So they're kind of translucent. They're kind of cool. I mean, it would have been neat to have like some stats, some moves type of thing for the Tournament Fighters games listed on there. Armagon, Aska, Chrome Dome, Rat King, War, Wingnut. Those are neat. I mean, this is the thing with these. Like, what do you do with these? Do you like display them? Do you frame them? Do you just put them back 
in the plastic sleeve and put them back in the box and just say, hey, I have this, I own it, it's mine. Okay, this is what brought the heft to this box. No, the book, there's a book in there. But this is, this is a little hefty too, this acrylic standee set. Let's take a look at these things. Let's see how we're supposed to put these together. This might be a pain in the ass, I don't know. All right, let's, let's get this open. Is there, yeah, there's like plastic on them to peel off. So I'm gonna peel these off, but not like, if it takes forever, I'm gonna cut that out of the video. All right, so that's one of the bases, I think. I may have to just look at this to see how you're supposed to display everything on here. But okay, let, let's get everything uh, cleaned up and, and set up. Is there plastic on both sides? Yeah, there is. Son of a... Son of a biscuit! Okay, I, I gotta say, while I think this is neat, make sure I got it in frame here. Um, no, I'm not a fan of this. Uh, there's a couple issues. It's a very tight fit to get all these pieces in there. Um, and then they still, like, these two pieces, this one looks like it kind of leans back a little bit, but it's in there, like, perfect, right? And then I noticed this front one with Leo, it overhangs on the sides where everything else is flush with the sides. So this front one, it, it should have been cut, like, a, a millimeter off of each side or so, a couple millimeters, to make it flush with the base. The other problem is it's such a tight fit. I was very gentle, very gentle. I didn't want to break this thing. I was scared I was going to break it. And I still got a little tiny crack in the acrylic there. Um, that's unfortunate. It's not really noticeable, though. Whoa, almost dropped it. I would have cracked the whole thing, damn it. But yeah, um, I, don't, I don't know. I mean, it looks neat, but it's kind of a pain in the ass. Uh, yeah, okay. Let's... let's Keep it moving, but there's there's that. Yeah, that's a little a little disappointing there. Let's take a quick look at this art book. That's the other thing that's I like that. It's pretty hefty. We will not go through everything, but there's supposed to be art for all the games. This is thick. I don't remember if it specifically said how. Yeah, it did. 180 pages of art. This is dope, dude. I like this. I would have bought this just by itself. I would have paid like $30 for this book, which is still too much. But like if you said, hey, you could buy this book for 30 bucks, I would have bought it. Like this is cool. I love this kind of stuff, man. Like all the artwork, the design documents, stuff like that for every game. That is badass, dude. Hell yeah. I dig it, man. Casey Jones. That is cool. That is really cool. So what do we got left, right? We got the, uh, we looked at the pins. We got the cloth poster. Let's get that out. Man, I, I'm, I'm disappointed in this thing, man. I, I really am. Like, it doesn't even like, it doesn't even sit flush. Maybe my table's wonky. I, I don't know, like it kind of rocks a little bit. Ah, <sighs> that was my, like that and the pins, I was like not really that excited about, but okay, what? the hell is this like freaking potato sack cloth the frick like this is uh i don't know what this is but this is like like you know you buy sheets and whatnot like you, <laughs> you know you get them thousand count thread count sheets and, and whatnot but then you're like you're broke and you're really cheap and you're like yo where's the 10 count thread sheets that's what this is but you know what it is bright and vibrant as you can see, I hope on the camera, it looks awesome. Just the material sucks, dude. This is like, what is this? Like, it, it's got that jagged, like, oh my God, this, it reminds me of something that I've worked with before and I just can't think of it. But yeah, this material is like bad, but the print job looks really freaking good. Frame worthy, probably, most likely. Like, what else are you going to do with this thing, right? But yeah, overall, I, I love this, and I love the art book. I don't really care about the acrylic standee thing. That kind of irked me a little bit. But let's go ahead and uh, open the game and see what we got here. So, um, yeah. I don't think there's going to be anything special 
on the inside. Like, I don't know, is there gonna be any artwork or whatever? But let's go ahead and open it up and just see what the cartridge looks like. We'll be doing some gameplay uh, the next day after this video. All right, you know, you got the printed warranty and stuff, some artwork in the back, but that's about it. Nice cartridge, black background, the logo. Very sweet. I, 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 I'm, a, I'm still a little mixed on the value behind this, man. <laughs> For Turtles collectors, I, I would see people being like, I'm keeping this sealed in the box type of thing. Um, I seen how popular this, this started to look and you started seeing a lot more pre-orders. Like I think they're still available on a few places. They sold out on Amazon earlier. Uh, from what I saw from their restock, maybe they still have it up. I think they had like you could pre-order it for whenever they get it back in. But yeah, I, I don't know. I don't know. What do you think about this set? Do you think the $150 price point was worth it? Like I really do like that cloth and the book. Like this book is freaking awesome. The cloth, cheap as all hell, the material, but the design is is beautiful. Like they did a great job with that print on here. Like this is, this is, this, it's kind of like miscut right there. <laughs> but I mean, it didn't, didn't cut into the artwork. It's the black border, but that's fine. But yeah, this looks cool. The book looks cool, but what if I paid, you know, $110 for these two items? No, no, I wouldn't. But hey, some of us are a little crazy and I, I did it for you guys, man. I did it because I was curious too. So thanks for watching. Catch you guys in the next one. Bye.